Greetings, it's Ian from RTO here. Welcome to another album ranking. And today we're going to look at a span from San Francisco. We've sort of covered the first part of their sort of history when they were called Jefferson Airplane. So today we're going to look at Jefferson Starship. And if you can hear some funny noises in the background, it's Rocky having his wash. He's quite vocal when he um, has a wash. Anyway, let's get back to Jefferson Starship. No, it, yes, I forget, there's so many different versions. Now, these were formed in 1974. And they were formed by former members of Jefferson Airplane, Paul Cantor and Grace Slick. And they evolved with other people like David Freeberg joining John Barbarata, Pete Sears, Papa John Creech, who was a former, who was, did play towards the end of the Starship era, and of course Marty Bailin joined the group for a little while. They had a few hits between 74 and 84. Um, eight gold or platinum selling albums it's not bad is it as a, a, a throwback from another band um as jefferson uh starship they are released 11 albums and of course when they had a little bit of a argy bargy um they be just became starship that's for another story so we're going to have a look at the 11 albums of Jefferson Starship. So coming in at number 11 from 2008, it was the first band's album since 1999, and it's called Jefferson's Tree of Liberty. It's a new album included cover songs from Irish, American, English and Latin tradition. So it's basically a covers album. Playing on here, we have Paul Cantor. On vocals and guitars, David Freeberg on vocals, Kathy Richardson on vocals and harmonica, Chris Smith on the piano, Slick Aguilia on guitars as well, Prince Prairie, Prairie Prince, sorry, on drums, Danny Baldwin did some drums as well, Darby Gould, Diana Mango, and Marty Palin plays a little bit on here. So these are just all traditional folk songs. Um, Wasn't that time? Follow the drinking gourd. Uh, Santi Anno. A cowboy on the run. I ain't marching anymore. Chimes of freedom. Genesis Hall. Kisses sweeter than rhyme. Royal Canal. Rise in the moon. Ferrano. In a crisis. Maybe you. Commandant Carlos Fonseca. Passes of plenty, imagine reputation. It's um, a bit of it's a mixture of that song's quite clever. It's a bit of imagine I imagine John Lennon and Bob Marley's repetition song. I quite like that. It's the only one I really like on here. On a threshold, the courts joy brotherhood. It's one of them car cover albums that it's a bit boring um, but I do like this uh, Imagine Redemption when they put clued them together it's the only one worth listening to on here the rest are just boring I never I didn't like this album so I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 1 out of 10 just because of the cleverness of putting two songs together ok then coming in at number 10 It's the ninth album from 1992, and it's called Windows of Heaven. And it's their first studio album since they reformed in 1992. So on here we've got Marty Balin, Jack Cassidy on the bass, Paul Cantor on vocals, and uh, Diana Mangano as well, Slick, Aguirre, T. Levitz, and... Um, Pereira Prince. So the first track on here, the light, and in brackets, ginger and metaphysics. 
I like this song. Uh, I don't. It's it's a bit different and it's quirky and it's a really strong vo vocal from Diana on this. It's just a really good song. See the light. Um, this sounds more like a Carlos Santana track, and there's nothing wrong with that. But it doesn't sound like Jefferson Hare playing Starship. Starship. It's just a, it's a new, unique sort of track, but I do like it. Borderlands, a pretty wishy-washy track. <laughs> doesn't do anything. It's a bit dull. Um, Ways of Love. I like the guitar here from this person, Slick. Really nice guitar work. Um, the rest of the song is pretty video mediocre. Later on, more country style, uh, Marty Balin song. It's nice, I like that. Let Me Fly, it's alright. Then we get the Wings of he Windows of Heaven. This is great. Best track on the album. It really sounds like their early stuff and going into a little bit of even Jefferson Airplane. Absolutely great track. Shadow Long, Shadowlands, nice enough song. Nice vocals, it's alright. I'm on fire. Definitely one of the better songs on here. This got really does heart back to the earlier days of Jefferson Aeroplane as well. Really good track. Goddess, probably the worst track on here. It's Driv. Uh. Let It Live. This is um, Carlos on. Tana meets a load of hippies in San Francisco. <laughs> it's all over the place. Not my favourite. Millennium Beyond. Beyond. It's got some nice bits on here. It's a nice little tune. I love the drumming on it. This isn't a bad album. It's just a bit confusing, to be quite honest. It's. Uh, it's like it sounds more like a um, first ever album. I know this is their first album together for a long time in the studios but it <laughs> it just seems a little bit oh, what should we do but I'm going to give it an RTO ranking of 5.5 .5. okay then coming in number 9 seventh album from 1982 and it's the first album back as Grey Slick with Grey Slick um, and Ainsley Dunbar plays drums on this album but was replaced by Dan Donny Baldwin for the supporting tour. So playing on here, we've got Mickey Thomas lead and backing vocals, Grace Slick on lead and backing vocals, Paul Cantor lead and backing vocals and rhythm guitars, Craig Chiquito on lead guitar, David Freeberg on bass, Pete Sears does some bass, and of course the legendary Ainsley Dunbar on the drums. So the first track is called Wind, winds of Change, great track, written by Jeanette and Peter Sears, uh, sung by Gray Slick, and it's great. I love Gray Slick's vocals, really good track. Keep on Dreaming's next, now this is a bit poppy, but it's got some great guitar work on it. I'm not quite sure who does it, because they all play decent guitar on here. I don't know if it's Craig or Paul, but it sounds really good. Be My Lady. It's okay, it's a bit poppy. Um, I Will Stay. It's got a good guitar so long, but it's just a really slushy ballad. Doesn't do anything for me. Out of Control. The beginning of this is quite this robotic voice. It's quite fun. It's great vocal from Grace again. I think all the songs sound good. I like this one. Next up is Can't Find Love, my favourite track on here, good old fashioned rocker, Grace bellowing it out again, absolutely brilliant, Black Widow, another good track, um, second favourite track on here, it's just a solid Starship sound, Jefferson Starship, sorry, really good. I Came Back From The Jaws Of A ja Dragon, not my favourite track, it's a bit bleh. And the last one, Quick Wasting Time. Really good. Good track. Nice. Got some nice tones on this. Um, I think this is a, a bit of a mixed bag here. The songs that Grey sings on are the best songs on here. Um, so I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 6 out of 10. 
Okay then, coming in at number eight, it's the 11th, and is it the last album? We don't know, but it's the most current album, and it was released in 2020, and it's called Mother of the Sun. So the band now is Kathy Richardson on lead vocals and a bit of guitar and keyboards, David Freeberg on lead vocals and guitars, Jude Gold on the lead guitar, Chris Smith on keyboards, Donnie Baldwin on the drums, additional players on here we've got uh, Pete Sears on the bass on a couple of them and Greg Panseria on bass and China Cantor which I wouldn't be surprised is a uh, something to do with Paul Cantor <laughs> so the first track on here is called it's about time I really like this song now Kathy Richardson um, is a fine singer she's got a real gutsy vocal bit like grace and this song is very old style jefferson starship really strong track what are we waiting for some lovely harmony singers one thing about doesn't matter who's in been in this band the harmonies between them all they've always been terrific you've got really strong vocals here you've you know on this one we've got kathy david uh of great singers um, they really work well together and you got this China Cantor being the backing really good it's a great song Setting Sun my favourite track on here uh, it's a bluesy sort of groove really strong song um, can't, I'll do this one of my favourite songs of this sort of period um, Run Away Again another very good strong vocal from Cathy really good guitar work on that, that one. and then we got Embrotic Journey it's a it's a live track which they throw in the mender of it it's okay don't be sad anymore it doesn't work it's a it's a track written by Chris Smith and Marty Balin it, it this just doesn't sound right well and then we get a an extended version of uh, what I'll be waiting for. It's not a bad album. A couple of filler tracks on here, but I really enjoyed listening to this. And if this is their last album, it's not a bad one to go out on. So I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 6.5. Okay, then coming in at number seven, we have the third album from 1976. Spitfire, which is basically Jefferson Airplane playing with a few others. <laughs> because on here we've got Grace Slick, Marty Ballin and Paul Cantor, which are all from from Airplane. <laughs> Craig Chiquita, David Freeberg, Pete Sears, and then on drums we've got John Barbata. First track is called cruising what a great bass line here from Pete Sears probably one of his best I love this track excellent dance with the dragon the vocal harmonies between everybody is great um, some nice a nice guitar solo on that one as well hot water one of my favorite songs on here it's a great vocal from Grace powerful great groove love that one St. Charles it's a nice enough song but it's not one of my favourites uh, then we have this song to the sun it's split up into three parts I think this is a great song it's my favourite song I like how it starts it's got mixtures of pop, psychedelia poppy rock some great playing on the end there's a, it's a bit Allman Brothers in places some of the guitar work and I love it it's a great track with your love one of the more gentler tracks on here and it's a nice vocal switchblade grace again sings this it's got a quirky little groove very sort of 1976 San Francisco scene really good um, big city just that typical sort of 1970s rocker great guitar work on that it is a terrific song and the last track is called lovely love love lovely start again in love lovely love 
it's got a bit of a sort of disco -y feel to it. Not so keen on this one. It's a pretty solid album, though. Uh, it's a really good album to listen to, so I'm going to give that an RTO ranking of 6.6. .6. Okay, then. Coming at number six is the eighth album from 1984, Nuclear Furniture, and it was the final album for the band that um, Paul Cantor left the band and the eventual transition of remaining members of the group to become Starship. So it's Mickey Thomas, Gray Slick, Paul Cantor, Craig, Chakai, Kati. Keita, David Freeberg, Pete Swift, Sears and Danny Baldwin. First track, Laying It On The Line. Pretty good track, even though it's mid-80s. There's none of that horrible production on it. It's just solid track, like that one. No Way Out. out. Okay, the 1980s cheesy synthesizer had crept into this track. But taking that aside, it's really good. It's none of the horrible um, production. Good song. Sorry Me, Sorry You. It's a little bit commercial, MTV sort of tune, but it's good and it's got some good guitar on it. Live and Let Live. In the middle bit it gets a bit 80s, but again, it's not overproduced. Just a solid track. Connection, really good track this is. The drumming on this good, although it has got that cheesy synthesizer on it. Rose Goes to Yale. Oh dear, this is, it has gone very 80s. Well, oh, don't like it. <laughs> Magician, even with the 80s overtones on it, it's quite quirky. I don't mind that. Assassin, yeah, very 80s, but it's a bit dated. Shining in the moonlight, I actually like the synthesizers on this. It actually adds to it. It's quite good. But my favourite track on this album is Showdown. Great vocal from Grace. I like the arrangement. It's a little bit different. Okay, it's got a little out bit of that tendency of 80s in it. And this is sort of the start of the Starship sort of sound. Um, which I'm not very keen on. But this one it isn't too bad. And the last track on this one is called Champion. Very 80s, but it has got a good guitar solo on it. For a mid-80s album, to be quite honest, it's half decent. They didn't give it the slick um, production that you did in the 80s. There's a little bit of rawness on the guitars. It's the keyboard sound that is just, oh, great on you. But I'd say on the whole, it is... It's probably one of the better... Um, 80s album, so I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 6.8. Okay, then coming in at number five, we have the fifth album released in 1979, and it's called Freedom at Point Zero. It's got Ainsley Dunbar playing drums on this uh, album, and the album was that sh cover was shot. On, in San Francisco Bay on the USCG midget. So Mickey Thomas is doing the vocals. Paul Cantor's singing and playing guitars. Craig is on the guitar. David is on the bass, so is Pete. And Ainsley Dunbar is playing some drums. First track on here is called Jane. Nice song. I love the piano in this. Sort of got that sort of late 70s soul rock sound. It's a really good track. Lightning Rose, Carry the Fire is next. I like the start of this. It's, I love the guitar at the beginning. Some really nice harmonies on this track. Excellent track. Things to Come, my favourite track on here. It's got a great bass line. It's Pete Sears. Really good rocker that is. Awakening is next. It's got some nice... It's a nice track. Goes on a little bit. It's quite a long track. Should have been a couple of minutes shorter. Girl with Hungry Eyes. Just a solid track. Got a good beat to it. Nothing wrong with that one. Just the same. Again, very solid. Some nice singing on this. It's just some 
great little riffs in there. Rock music, great guitar work on this, just a solid rock track, I do like that. Fade in the Light, bit mediocre, not my favourite track on here. Freedom at point to zero. For the title track, it's a bit of a filler track, to be quite honest. Nothing special. Good album. Uh, it's, not, uh, it's got some really good tracks on this. Uh, I enjoyed listening to this one again. And I'm going to give it an RTO ranking of 7 out of 10. Okay, coming in at number 4. Got the 6th album. Came out in 1981. And it's called Modern Times. Times. Ray Slick appeared on this album after a three year absence. She returned at the end of the recording sessions and provided some backing vocals on the track. And she sang the lead vocals on one track as well. So we've got Mickey Thomas, Paul Cantor, Craig Takito, David Freeberg, Pete Sears, and of course Gray Slick. First track is called Find Your Way Back. Guitar on oh, this is really good. Great vocal as well. Stranger, great bass line. Uh, Grace does the coat. Um, lead vocals on this, pretty strong track. Wild Eyes, uh, it's got the bits of the older days on this. Excellent little track that is. Save Your Love, really good ro rocker. I love the drumming on this from Ainsley. <laughs> He's a terrific drummer. Title track Modern Times has got is good. Another really good track. Nice vocals on this. Uh, Mary, my favourite on here. The riffs are great. The drumming's good. It's just a gritty rock song. I like the sort of two contrasts of the guitars on that one. Then we have three. Second favourite track on here. Again, it's Ainsley Dunsbar's great drumming. Alien. Grace. Backing vocals, you can hear her really strong on this. Really makes the, the song with her backing vocals. Stairway to Cleveland, a very catchy poppy tune, but it really works and I do like this. I think this album is a bit of a dark horse actually. Um, it's got a really good mixture on here. Even the poppy ones are good. It's, it's a really good album. So I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 7.3. Okay, then coming in at number three, we got the fourth album uh, from 1978, and it's Earth. It's Marty Bailey, Paul Cantor, Craig, David, Pete's on here, and John Parpata is the drummer at the time. Love Too Good Funky, I love this. It's got a really funky bass line from David Freeberg. Really adds to it. It's got some strings on it. Really works well. Count on me. Love the piano work on this. Absolutely fantastic. Um, I think it's Pete Sears playing the piano on this. Great track. Um, great vocal for Marty. One of my favourite tracks of this lineup. Um, take your time. Bit of grace slick here. Great song, Crazy Feeling, another good song. I love the I love the organ on this, really rich. Skateboard. It's got that San Francisco sound on it. It really is. It's it's an absolute great track. I do like it. Fire, good track. Great vocal for Marty. Absolutely top draw. One of the best vocals he did in this incarnation of the band. Show yourself. Another great track, one of my favourites on here. Great vocal, some great guitar work on this. Runaway, good song, again, love the guitar. Some great guitar playing on this album. And the last track, All Night Long. Probably the weaker track on here, but it has got a really great solo on it. A pretty good album. I think this is probably the last of of the sort of the classic sounding and this is, is my favourite lineup of the band um, but they moved with the times but it's still a very good album this is I really like this one so I'm going to give it an RTO ranking of 7.5 
Okay, then coming in at number two, we've got the debut album from 1974, Dragonfly. Uh, Grace, Paul, David, Papa, John Creech on the violin. Uh, Craig, Chicato, Pete Sears, John Barbata and Marty Balin. Ride the Tigers, the first track. Absolutely brilliant song. Some great, the, the, when the, as I said, this band have always had some great singers. And you've got Paul Cantor, Marty Bailey, Grace Slick. What more do you need? Absolutely performing to their best on this. It's a great track. Then that's for sure. R lovely piece of music this is. Uh, I love the funky sound on it as well. Be Young You, one of my favourite songs by Grey Slick, singing absolutely thing. And uh, Papa's violin really adds to this. Excellent. Then we have Caroline, lovely harmonies on this. Nothing to do with status quo, of course. Um, I love the bass line. It's Marty Baldwin and Paul Cantor, absolutely brilliant. Then we have my favourite track on here, and one of my favourite songs by Jefferson Starship. It's called Devil's Den. Sort of one of the, I don't know if this is left over from Jefferson Aeroplane because I mean pa Papa John Creech played on their later albums. He's violin playing on this is excellent. It's just a brilliant track. Love this track to death. Come to life. Love this song as well. I like the bass line on it it's just very soulful fly all the way psychedelic in places and really this does really hark back to jefferson airplane days absolutely brilliant track hyperdrive another psychedelic track the vocals on here from grace it's an absolutely killer track to end the album a fine de debut album from jefferson starship here still got the elements of jefferson airplane of the later years of that band uh, they sort of crafted this and I'll give this an RTO ranking of 7.6 so we reached the number one and it's I've, and I've actually gone with the flow for once uh, it's their second album from 1975 Red Octopus which has got Marty Grace Paul Craig Papa John David Freeberg and Pete Sears and John Barbata first track on here is a brilliant track called Fast Buckle, Fast Buck Freddy. Great vocal from Grace. Some lovely Papa John violin on this. Absolute solid track. Miracles. Pete Sears bass line just drives the song along. Everyone's all hooked on to that and really cuz. Then we have this instrumental called Git Fiddler. Absolutely brilliant. It's a mixture of disco, funk and country, but with some great pop violin playing from Papa John. Absolutely top draw. Ai Garamasu, There Is Love. My favourite Grace Snick song she did with Jefferson, whatever, Starship or whoever. It doesn't, it's brilliant. Fine vocal, it's a wonderful song. Sweeter Than Honey, really good rocker here. Uh, it's the I like the interplay we've got between guitar and fiddle here. Solid. Play on love. It's got some nice, ins more uh, nice violin playing from Papa John. Another great vocal from Grace. Top drawn material. Tumbling, gentle sort of track. It's got some nice tones on it. I do like that. I want to see another world my second favorite track on here heavy guitar riffs and some of papa joe's best um violin playing on this album then we have a track called sandal fon which is an instrumental it's a very proggy sort of track uh some lovely hammond keyboard on this this is absolutely brilliant great track written by pete sears and then the last track on there, There Will Be Love, brilliant song, the harmonies, the guitar work, the interplay with the violin, really strong track to end and really good album. Now I like this album because it, they start when they, 
the last albums of Jefferson Airplane, they were starting to change the sound. A lot of people didn't like it, but the, you had Dragonfly, a very solid start. But I think this is where they put it all together, what they were trying to do the later days of Airplane into Starship. Um, I think this is a very strong album. Um, it is why it's my favourite because it, I think this is the this was the peak of this band, and the, you know they did go on, but they they see the album seemed to get weaker, and then they became more of a poppy band. But this to me, is an excellent album. So I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of eight out of ten. So there we go. Look out at some stage for the final chapter of this band. The Starship years, probably in a couple of months' time, but yeah, a really good band. People forget about this band because of you know, everyone seems to look at Jefferson Airplane and dismiss everyone else. But go and check these out if you do like. If you like Airplane, you're going to like some of the albums on here. You may not like them all, but there are one or two that you're going to like. You're definitely going to like Red Octopus. Okay, that's all for this one. I'll be back bit later with a retro ranking and we're going to look at going to have a sort of a trip down memory lane and some of my favorite u.s cop type shows themes so that's for later so bye for now <laughs>